Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Rule of the Waves 2 as Great Britain. Our current uh, battle against the Americans is going decently well. Uh, we are fending off a major invasion, and I actually think we're going to repel it. The only question is how much it's going to cost. The Americans have thrown everything they have into this, including their massive... 89,000 ton Titans, the Nevada and South Carolina. And while the South Carolina has been pretty well shot up by our juggernauts, the Nevada has just turned in on what looks to be a suicide charge. She is steaming straight towards our capital ships, and I have no idea what she's thinking. So there she is. She is heading in, and we will see what happens. All right, well, uh, with that in mind, our battleships to the north are doing a pretty good working over of the American cruisers. They've been slowed down by various gun hits, and now they can't get away. And that means we can close in and finish them off. So these guys are going to keep on doing their worst up to the north. And we're trying to get some of our destroyers into the South Carolina. See if we can deal with that and uh, get a proper finishing off of her. Alright, and I do not like the looks of those cruisers, Des Moines and Amsterdam's. They are dangerously close to my battleships and slightly in front of them, and that means torpedoes. I do not like the look of that. So we're going to have to do what damage we can to the Nevada, and then we're going to have to turn away. So hopefully we're going to give it a few more turns, and then we're going to turn away and try and dodge whatever things they've sent our way. All right, looks like we've got our first good solid hit on the Nevada class. That's a good 17-inch hit there. Come on, keep going. Okay, let's see some more hits. Argonaut is taking fire from the Nevada. Well, I'd rather my heavy cruisers get shot up than the light cruisers. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, they are not intended to fend off that kind of firepower. All right, you go that way. Nevada is steaming north. Looks like the Arizona's... And the Illinois. Oh, poor old Illinois. Survivor from the last big war. But here she is, and I think things are not going to go too well for her. All right. We'll turn the juggernaut over this way. And hopefully the Argonaut is able to run. And I see a naval strike heading home. Okay, do some damage. Behemoth is on fire. How bad is that? Okay, only a level one. We're good. Keep going. Okay, getting some hits on the Nevada. Good, good, good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. This is it. We've got some torpedoes. And it is time to do some damage here. All right. We missed one opportunity. Lasso did not fire when we had the chance at the Nevada, so we missed that. But Arun is almost there. Let's see what kind of solution she is not acknowledging control. What's up with that? Okay. Well, I don't see any particular damage that should prevent her from acting, but we'll see what we can do here. Okay. What else do we have here? Do we have a solution on the South Carolina? Nope, not yet. What about from the lasso? Nope, can't do that. 
What about South Carolina? Nope, not an arc yet. And the Arizonas are breaking off. Okay, ooh, that's not good. Behemoth fire spreads, so she's up to level two. And Argus fire spreads, that is not good. She's up to level three again. Come on, you have got to get that under control. Okay, you know what? Can I detach you now? Yes, there we go. Okay, Argus is detached. Manual control. Yeah, we're taking you at full speed all the way in. Just head back home as fast as you can. All right, let's see what else is going on this turn, because we have a moment to make some critical decisions. All right, so Arun next turn had darned well better be able to torpedo the Nevada. And I also expect some torpedoes from these other two destroyers as well. I hope. Actually, with that in mind, we're going to start turning to open torpedo arcs. So that should improve the odds of hitting. Let's see, how are things going in the north? Honestly, those are looking pretty good. Pretty sure they don't need to be concentrating their fire on that one New York class. I think these other ones could use the good working over as well. Like that one, she's probably good. That one could use a few shells. As could that one. So yeah, I would definitely appreciate my Iron Dukes firing at the uh, enemy capital ships. Or spreading their fire out a little bit more. Let's see, so... Well, I guess she's a little bit in shock because her torpedo tube exploded. So yeah, that I guess that makes sense. Hopefully she gets things under control next turn. If not, I'll be very, very sad. Do you guys? I don't think you guys get torpedoes yet. You guys were not equipped with torpedoes. And we're going to start turning you away as well. Okay, Nevada, Nevada, Nevada. Wow, everyone wants to shoot the Nevadas. I'm going to tell you to re target the Arizonas. Well, I guess I don't have much control over that since they're all part of the same battle group. Oh well. Hopefully this uh, thing will get taken out. Alright, well, we only want to go one turn. Okay. Oh wow. Momentous turn. Torpedo hit. And Diadem blows up. So that was the battlecruiser Yorktown. Somewhere over here. Okay, first things first. Arun, can you launch? No, you're still in shock. Okay, Dune, can you launch? No, that's not the one. South Carolina, here we go. Yeah, that's a good solution. We'll take it. How's Lasso doing? Oh, already launched. Okay. So I'll turn you guys over this away. And I am turning the Arun. Turning the Arun around so she gets another chance at the Nevada. And we're going to disengage this last surviving heavy cruiser. Okay. Anything else? Two more 17 inch hits on the Nevada at very close range. That ought to do some damage. She still looks to have all of her guns in operation now. I don't like that. All right, so we're gonna turn around. And we're gonna turn around that way. We're going to see what kind of damage we can do as we start regrouping our capital ships. 
Okay, things in the north still looking okay. Anything else? Well, at least the Argonaut is limiting flooding now, so she's getting back under control. And Andromeda, well, you're already as fast as you can go. All right, cruisers run away. I could have sworn I had some other cruisers available and I have no idea where they went. I thought we had some. Yeah, here we go. Endeavor and Enterprise. Okay. 10 inch gun cruisers. I need you guys in the fight. So we're taking you guys away from the carriers and we're sending you towards the front. Let's see, what's going on over there? Still got Destroyer there, I don't like that. But at least it's not in a position to torpedo us. So, huzzah. Okay, next turn. Okay, I'm seeing some decent torpedo launches there, but she is evading. So, we'll see. Are you able to launch yet? Nope, still on torpedo shock. Or still on cruise shock. Or distracted by the fires, I don't know. But please, 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 please. Torpedo that darn battleship. And we're still seeing good hits on the New York. Well, Five inch shell hits, that's not what we're looking for here. Hey, they retargeted. Does that mean they're actually going to shoot all those other things? All right. One more turn here. A lasso hit by a torpedo. Okay, yeah, that would probably be from the Smith. That makes sense. Unfortunate, but that is the fate of destroyers. Live by the torpedo, die by the torpedo after all. How are these looking over here? Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Really wish Arn would launch. Come on. Okay, next turn. Oh, and Andromeda just got hammered. Yep, three hits from 20 inch shells. That's kind of hard to deal with. Okay, so these poor eight inch gunned cruisers just could not repel that kind of firepower. The good news is, those cruisers are much more replaceable than my juggernauts, and we are doing lots of damage to that Nevada. Now what I'd really like to do is do some more damage to those Arizonas as well. All right, Behemoth is up to two. How is the Argus doing? Ooh, up to level four. Run, baby, run. All right, let's get these other carriers over this way. How's Indomitable doing? Yeah, I still got three flooding there. Do we have any more strikes available? Okay, carry division 22, no. Carry division four, no. Carrier Division 8, no, and Argus hasn't recovered anything yet, oh man. Well, we haven't destroyed the transports, but I do think it is time for us to start looking into 
disengaging for now. Oh, there we go. Arizona just got hit by two torpedoes. So that's good news. Let's see. How's this guy doing? Running away. Lasso was reported as sinking due to torpedo. Who knows? Maybe the dune will be able to get out. Arun has... Launch torpedoes at the Arizona, and we have control neck. Do we have a solution on the Nevada? It's not a good solution. We also have a solution on this Arizona. That one? No, no, no. Well, it's a poor shot, so I think we're going to hold it. How fast is she moving? 20 knots. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get in position for that. Oh, you're sinking. Okay, yeah, we're going we're gonna to flush these torpedoes before we lose the ability to shoot. So we're going to send two more at the Arizona. Because those are at least a somewhat probable shot. All right, fish in the water. Anything else? New York's still getting hit by five inch guns. Doing damage to that Smith. Oh man, that's practically old Ironsides engagement range right there. Still doing fine in the north. I know I've seen reports of various craft approaching. Okay, torpedo bombing CA, that's actually a CL. Well, that's good news because that's putting pattern running torpedoes right in this area. And then we've got some medium bombers going after the carriers. Well, cruisers defending the carriers, but hey, we got a hit. So that group is getting pretty well destroyed. All right. Okay, keep going. Okay, me level bombing enemy carrier. One hit, two hits. Oh boy. And we've got three 17 inch hits on the Nevada. That was from the Juggernaut, so not the best angle of impact. And I am seeing some more torpedoes headed at that Nevada. I'm guessing these destroyers decided to attack. Yeah, they did. Okay, is there anything else that we can do? Okay, those torpedoes are looking good. How are these? Negative. No good news there. No torpedo hits. All right. Time to keep going. Dune is actually doing remarkably well, all things considered. We're going to try and turn her away from the Nevada so she might actually survive. And let's move on to our next turn. Des Moines hit. I think that was... I think that was due to airdrop torpedo, so nothing too significant there. All right, and then, oh my. Juggernaut takes a heavy hit from a Nevada. Shrugs it right off. I'm right, sure her max speed is reduced a little bit, but she's doing just fine. And then Behemoth takes a hit. from the 20 inch guns. No, sorry, 16 inch guns. Okay, how's she doing? Still doing okay. All right, next turn. 
Okay, their cap is going after our strikes. But we are getting three more 17-inch hits on that Nevada. She cannot be doing well. Not under these conditions. And I'm seeing some 5-inch gun hits thrown in there as well. That damage stacks up quickly. Okay, Behemoth takes a superstructure pass-through hit. Eh, not great. Come on. Shoot that Arizona. She's got to be in trouble now. In fact, speaking of trouble, I see more torpedoes headed her way. Also, let's see, rate of fire is one shell per gun per turn. Nice. Final hit chance, 10%. And we're slinging 12 guns her way. We should be doing more damage than that. And this one's also rock. Well, she's not doing quite as well. I would much prefer you target something else so you're not messing with my hit chances. Like that, that Illinois class. She would do just fine. If she were targeting something else. Okay, looks like the Nevada has been detached, though. No, don't want that. Don't want that. Yeah, here we go. Illinois class. Target that. Okay, looks like the Arizona has come to a complete stop. And here we go. We're starting to get some more reports. So, Lasso, still a sinking destroyer, don't care. New York class hit by a 5-inch. Arizona class takes another 17-inch hit. New York throws some 10-inch guns, which bounce right off. And then the Illinois class. Ooh, that Illinois class is doing bad things to the behemoth. Turret destroyed, fire control damaged. I don't like that. She's still doing okay though, and the fire is down to one. And then... Illinois class fires some secondaries, which don't do anything. Seeing some more five inch hits on the Arizona class, huzzah. Come on, let's see if we can get something on the Nevada. More damage on the Nevada, that's what we need. Ooh, enemy aircraft approaching Argonaut. Ooh, how's she doing? That's two engine room hits. But overall, she's actually holding up remarkably well, considering the amount of pounding she's taking. Okay, can we shift our fire to that Illinois class and actually silence her? There we go. I'm not worried about the sinking Arizona. She's out of the fight. For all practical purposes. Okay, Nevada class taking some 17 inch hits. Good. One, two, three. And I see one turret knocked out. Fantastic. Okay, more hits on the New Yorks. Good. Keep doing your thing. I think these uh, Iron Dukes are probably doing, going to end up doing the useful work. They're going to get in amongst the transports and probably cut off the retreat of those battle cruisers and other stuff. How's our ammunition doing? Okay, ammunition is mostly holding up just fine. Okay, Behemoth is... Still sending 17-inch shells at the Arizona. No, don't do that. I told you not to. You know what? Manual targeting. You are specifically targeting the Illinois. There, specifically target the Illinois. 
And I'm going to do the same thing for this guy. Take that Illinois and hammer it into submission. Okay, let's see. Well, at least we bounced that hit. I can't believe we did, but we did. All right, and we're seeing some more hits on the Nevada. 17 inch, five inch, five inch on the Arizona. Cool, next turn. All right, there's something. At least you're putting five inch shells at them. Very much like some 17 inch shells into her. All right, Nevada takes another 17 inch hit, good. And Arizona takes a four inch hit, huzzah. Nope, that's not what we're doing. Okay, overall things are doing fairly well. Real quick, let's take a look at our air wings. Okay, strikes from Indomitable are still readying. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see a whole lot of aircraft at all available already. Let's see, so we still have some land-based strikes, but not much. Medium bombers, flying boats, they're all either out, returning, or shot down. Yeah, it looks like they're mostly returning, but hey, we've got more landing. So these guys are going to keep on doing some good work. And then Airbase Hamilton, where is Airbase Hamilton anyway? Is that the one that's way down here? Yeah, that's the one that's way down there. Okay, so Hamilton, not relevant. Completely not relevant to this fight. Let's see. So, one more check-in on the Argus. Well, she's up to 13 knots, so she should be able to get back into, into the... Uh, should be able to make it back home. And once she's home, the fires don't matter anymore. And our primary goal is to preserve our fleet. Okay, here we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. One, two, three, four, five, 17 inch hits on the Illinois. That should start shutting up those guns. She did some hefty damage. All right, so we do actually have a strike heading in on the uh, Iron Dukes. Got some good damage from the medium AA. So hopefully that'll break up the attack and cause some misses. Seeing some good solid more hits on the New York. So man, those cruisers have really worked over. Okay, that guy's sinking. That guy's sinking. This guy's probably going to be sinking real soon. All right, we're going to send these guys in towards the transports. I know that there's some destroyers in the area, so we're going to have to be a little bit cautious. But we also have destroyers that in a few turns we should be able to accelerate ahead of the battleships. Okay, so quick review. Yorktown is firing. How's that Nevada faring up? Still reporting light damage. That is impressive. Okay, how are these other ones? Pueblo class still running. New York class still running. They are damaged though, so that's good. Okay. Well, decision point. Does the juggernaut head west or east? Do want to maintain broadsides on the targets. Actually, speaking of which, let's see. So Arizona is well and truly bludgeoned into submission. 
Let's see. I'm pretty sure the test can fire off a finish. Oh, not quite. Next turn, the test will be able to fire off a execution or spread. Actually, I don't know. It might end up being the cockatrice. Because we may be able to get some torpedoes into the Illinois as well. We'll see. Alrighty. I think we're going to push it on for one more turn and then we'll decide what to do with the Juggernaut. Okay. So it looks like those torpedo bombers missed the battleship. They are launching against the Ness. I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. In fact, what are you doing? Supporting the light cruisers. You know what? What are the light cruisers doing? Oh, they're on scout? Let's get you closer. Actually, heck, why are you guys all scattered? You guys are supporting light cruiser division 20. Okay. And what are you doing? A lone cruiser? Okay. Uh, I want these ships back in the fight. Both to provide a cover. What are you doing? So you're scout for the behemoth. I'm going to switch you over to support. So you get close. Doris, what are you doing? You're scout for the leviathan. I'm going to switch you over to support as well. So you get back in the fight too. And the Perseus, along with your supporting destroyers... Yeah, we're going to take manual control over you and bring you directly into the fight. Actually, you know what? We're going to bring you after that Nevada. I'm still getting plenty of damage. Oh, man. Those poor torpedo bombers. All right. So four torpedo bombers go in after the destroyer Ness. They face 29 heavy A factor and three aircraft damaged, one destroyed. Wow, they are not doing well. Okay, Behemoth takes another whole hit from the Illinois, but she does limit flooding after that, so she's doing okay. Yeah, she's doing okay. Keep those guns thundering, and we will silence the Illinois. And how is Leviathan doing as well? Okay, quick double check. Are there any enemy destroyers in the area? No. Okay, we're good. Looks like somebody just flushed at the Illinois. What about the test? Okay, test is definitely in position to fire at the Illinois as well. Yeah, that's beautiful. Do it. And then Cockatrice, you still got three torpedoes left. Can you do anything against the Arizona? It's not the best angle. How fast are you going? 22 knots? All right. We're going to save that for the next turn. And then we'll put a finishing spread into the Arizona. Okay. Quick reminder. I still don't see any threats to the northern squadron. Should be okay. All right. Next turn. There we go. Four more hits on the Illinois. And those are some beautiful spreads on her. And then Cockatrice turns away, so she probably does not have Ark on the Arizona. Yeah. No Ark. Okay, so we're going to take manual control of you for a moment. We're going to turn you back so we can get that finishing spread. So next turn, Cockatrice, Torpedo the Arizona. Anything else? Behemoth has her bridge blown up. Well, that's not good. That's going to hurt her crew quality. Yeah, that hurts. But I think she's going to do, f overall, she should do fine against the Illinois. At this point, actually, we need to start thinking about shifting our fire. Okay. 
All right, so Illinois and Arizona, I'm pretty confident that those guys are done. So we're going to shift our fire. I want uh, the Juggernaut is going to target the Yorktown class. There we go. Shift your fire. Do we have any th torpedo threats? No, nope, no torpedo threats. So shift our fire to the Yorktown, see if we can get some damage on her. And then our other two capital ships, Leviathan and uh, Behemoth can target the Nevada now. Actually, we're going to have the Leviathan target Nevada. Oop, hang on. So you're going to target, here we go, Nevada. And just to be safe, set ship target, Nevada. Okay, there we go. And I'll leave the Behemoth to put a few more volleys into the Illinois. At least until those torpedoes hit. Okay, fire is spreading on the Argus. Come on, man. I need you getting back to port. And I need you getting back to port ASAP. So we can get that fire out. Okay, so turn orders have been issued for the destroyers. Test is launching torpedoes. At what? Do you even have torpedoes? No, you're already out of torpedoes. Hmm. Okay, next turn. Okay, there we go. Cockatrice, you can launch at the, no, not that one, Arizona. Here we go. Arizona, launch. Okay, and then where is, okay, those torpedoes are looking pretty good. If that doesn't do damage, I don't know what will. And we are still taking damage from the Illinois. I hope those torpedoes take her down. Okay, New York class is pretty well dealt with. Why are you target? Well, okay, I don't mind you targeting that one too. Juggernaut going after the Yorktown. Eh, not the best hit chance, but we still got plenty of ammunition. So we'll see what kind of damage we can do. All right, next turn. Oh my God, all of those torpedoes missed. Yep, still getting some five inch gun hits on there. Leviathan throws another 17 inch hit into the Nevada. All right, she is starting to report heavy damage though, so that is good. Why are you guys? Oh yeah, you guys are dealing with the uh, air attack. Okay, heavy damage on fire, five knots. I'm pretty sure she is in trouble. Let's actually see what the final report is. Yeah, two turrets out, on fire, good. Another few turns, we'll shift our targets to the transports. Sinking, sinking. Not sinking yet. But we're still throwing plenty of good hits their way. And where is Defender? Not in position. Okay, well. I will get my torpedo if it's the into the Illinois, if it's the last thing I do. All right, Defender, you're our last hope. You have five torpedoes left. Actually, real quick. I know that one's sinking. No, you haven't had a chance to reload yet. Okay, next turn. Arizona hit. Okay, that is one hit. Out of three, not great. What are these guys doing? Medium damage, light damage. Actually, you know what? 
I'll let you guys target the Yorktown. Since you guys are nice and close. And I'll shift your fire to those heavy cruisers. Hang on, let's see. What's our biggest threat right now? That Pueblo class. All right, turn to the north. And we're going to shift your fire to the Pueblo. No, not that Pueblo. Where was the other one? Okay, that's the one. So that's set, and we're going to give you a specific target of that one. Alrighty. Get him. Okay, how is Behemoth doing? Oh, some more hits on the Nevada. 17-inch shell hits. Fantastic. Oh, juggernaut. Oh, man. You know what? Never mind that. We're going to keep you on the uh, Yorktown. Since you've already got the target selected. There we go. Yorktown. And that set ship target. Da, 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 Yorktown. Yep. Keep firing. And hopefully these guys can form back up. Okay. Yep, Nevada, Nevada, 17 inch hits. Throw on some random four inch shell hits to the Illinois. Just gotta get that little bit of insult. Okay, these two test and cockatrice, you guys can go back on AI control since the defender has apparently decided to detach. How is Illinois doing? Still reporting a fair bit of speed. All right, so let's turn her around and get her nice and close. Actually, hang on. Let's see, Illinois. There we go. All right, first, first volley, launch, and we'll save the other one for a opportunity. How is Andromeda doing? Yeah, you're still sinking. Okay. Oh man, too many sinking ships. I can't tell which ones are still available and which ones aren't. Okay, and Dune, I want you getting out of there. Actually, you know what, Dune, what's our reports here? You're actually looking in pretty good shape. So we're going to pick you up to 20 knots and order you home. All right. Next turn. More 17 inch hits on the Nevada. She cannot be doing well. She's down to 10 knots. Fantastic. All right, Behemoth is taking more hits from the Illinois. Overall, she's still holding together. I do think it is time to start turning her away though. So we're going to start sending the behemoth home. Okay, Iron Duke bounces another shell hit. And behemoth puts another 17 inch hit into the Illinois. All right, and what do we got here? Test and cockatrice, do not have arc. What is the defender doing? She's turning quite nicely. Doesn't quite have arc yet. So 
So we're going to keep turning. Let's see, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, I saw those torpedoes. Let's see, quick review. Argus, did you, did, did you reattach Argus? Argus, why did you reattach? Yeah, you reattached. Why on earth would you do that? Argus, if you sink, I am court-martialing your captain, executing him before a firing squad, and erasing all proof that you ever existed. And I am dead serious about that. Just you watch. I will edit save game files to eliminate you. Okay. Next turn. Okay, nothing too significant this turn. We get another 17 inch hit on there. We get some more four inch hits on the Illinois. Is the defender in position yet? Not quite. She's got to pick up speed. But those torpedoes are looking pretty good. Let's see, anything else? Nothing too significant. Got a 16 inch hit on the Yorktown, good. Alrighty, should be able to hammer down that Yorktown pretty well. Next turn. Okay, Juggernaut gets hit by 10 inch shell. Yeah, not too bad, two hits, one does damage. Another 16 inch hit on the New York. Good. I'll bring you guys around to deal with those transports. Let's see what else. Oh my, I think that's enough four inch shell hits. 17 inch hit on the Yorktown and some five inch hits on the Pueblo. I don't think that did a whole lot of damage there, but I'll take every little bit. Alrighty, next turn. Okay, we're still taking 10 inch hits from that New York class. Which New York was it? This one? Okay. I think we are going to have to shift our fire. Why are we not doing any more damage to that Illinois? I'm seeing plenty of 4 inch hits. But I'm still not seeing any torpedoes. And it looks like the Illinois dodged those. Let's see. Do we have... What's going on, Defender? Why are you not able to launch? Okay. Hold your fire for now. Let's see. And yes, we are going to need to shift our fire to deal with those cruisers. Okay. Trigger not. Turning off manual firing. I think at this point it should be fairly straightforward. We want those heavy cruiser divisions. Specifically, I want that New York. Not that one. That one. Fire back. Oh. Destroyer Dune identifies transport as cruiser. Sure. Because those look exactly the same. Near 
miss. Good. She's got damage stacking up. Cockatrice takes an interim hit. She shrugs it off thanks to her unit machinery. And all right, next turn. Okay, we've got, let's see. Lasso gets hit, 16 inch hit on the Yorktown, 16 inch hit on that uh, already sinking cruiser. Not too worried about that. We've got a five inch hit on a Corvette. Okay, Dune, you're trying to disengage, good. Hopefully you'll get up to speed. Behemoth near miss. Plenty of four inch hits on the Illinois. I think we could afford a few more four inch hits there. And then Leviathan puts four 17 inch hits into the Nevada. And they are calling her sinking, but I don't believe that. She's up to 15 knots. Okay, and well, would you look at the time? It is time to call this episode to an end. Wow. This has very much been a critical few minutes of turn by turn micromanaging. Hopefully, things will steady out once we get those uh, battleships out of the fight. It is almost over, but this may be another episode or two before we can properly call this battle to a close. So until then, uh, don't forget to stay dry, stay afloat, and uh, stay safe. Katori87, signing out.